Just a few minor modifications. The uh, AC box is in. Um, I did have to cut out the uh, research slash fresh air um, door to fit back here in the cage. So that means I'll make a block off panel for that, uh, weld that up. Uh, having just air recirculating inside the cabin should be plenty fine. Uh, that filter is seen. <laughs> Way better days. Here's the aluminum piece I made. I tried expanding the foam. It stuck to the aluminum, so it's not gonna work. I ended up ruining whatever you wanna call it. So instead, I'm gonna use pink insulation foam. Here's uh, just cutoffs, because I forgot to film the other part. Uh, so this is the rough dimension. Just hot glued it together. You can see it's, you know, it was only held on by a little bit. Um, I am afraid that this will melt due to the heat of the resin and uh, hardener mixture. So this one, which is the actual one, same dimension as the aluminum. Uh, I just wrapped it in yellow painter's tape. I'm hoping that won't melt and then I should still be able to get it off of the inside of the carbon. We'll see. I ordered this carbon kit from Venom Carbon. Um, 12 by 60, two by two. I think it'll be fine. Comes with the resin and the hardener, your instructions. Uh, got a paint cup to measure everything, a spreader once I start applying it and a paint stick to mix it off.
anything wet laid. The instructions say it should tack up in about a half hour. Uh, you, have, you can see the frayed ends, those will all get cut off. So we have our finished windshield HVAC duct. Came out pretty decent. I did say when I was making the mold to cover it in yellow tape so the epoxy would not burn the foam. I guess that doesn't happen with resin epoxy. It just happens with polymer or polyester or something like that uh, epoxy so I would if you're going to use epoxy resin don't do that otherwise you'll never be able to get it off this stuff is like embedded into the into the carbon I'll most likely remake a piece. It's not super important. I've sanded a little bit on it. There's still some goo from the insulation foam that I can get out. 